Hey, what's up, everybody? This is the Wingman282, and uh, I have a very special video for you guys today, and it involves Fallout. So, um, I don't think I've ever mentioned it on my channel before, but I'm a big Fallout fan. Uh, I love playing the games. I love uh, reading up on lore. Uh, we we'll love watching uh, YouTube videos about it. And um, as you can imagine, I'm pretty excited about Fallout 4 coming out in November. And, you know, I've been, uh, you know, watching YouTube videos about that and uh, reading up on the wikis and things. So, uh, during that time, I've, I've been working on a, uh, like a personal project. So, it's really just for fun and really just to see if I could do it. Uh, but basically what I've done is, uh, I've taken the concept of the terminal in Fallout that you would, like, normally hack when you found one in the wasteland. And I've ported it over to work on an Apple II. I've, uh, I've written it in Applesoft Basic. This wouldn't really be one that you would find randomly in the wasteland. Um, I've kind of personalized it, so um, if you were actually role-playing in Fallout, this would be a terminal that you might find uh, in your Fallout house, pretty much. It would uh, be it'd be more of like a PC mod than anything else. But, but anyway, what, uh, what this video is going to be about... Um, I'm going to boot it up for you and I'm going to show you how it works uh, and, you know, what I've done. Um, my original plan was to actually run this program on a real Apple II computer. Um, I have an Apple II computer, but it doesn't work. Um, I, I attempted to, you know, see what was wrong with it, but at this time I can't fix it because I don't have the right tools. So uh, my next option is to use an emulator, and that's what I'm going to do in this video. So if you see some graphical glitches or you hear something that doesn't sound right, um, that's why. Uh, but you, you get the basic concept of how it works. So uh, let's go ahead and boot it up and I'll uh, show you how it works. Okay, so I've got the uh, emulator opened up right here, ready to go. Um, I don't usually use this emulator. Uh, this is like a GOT, or a GAT, however you pronounce this. Uh, I normally use Apple Win over here. But uh, it just absolutely refuses to record with fraps in full screen, so um, I can't use this. Uh, it has, it actually, I think it works better, but uh, it just refuses to work. So I'm having to use this other one over here. Uh, but anyway, um, here I got the uh, program ready to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and start it up. And it's going to take a few seconds for it to load up. and uh, it gives us a prompt. So this works just like it does in the game. Um, normally this is where the game would, you know, actually type in the uh, commands for you, but um, I've got it set up to where you have to do it manually because it's just more interesting that way, I think. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna go ahead and hack this terminal. So I'm gonna say set terminal inquire. And then set file protection owner counts. And then I'm going to say set halt restart maintenance. Ah, see, I messed up, so I got to redo it. Misspelled it. And it gives us the readout just like it does in the game. And then we will run uh, this last command and it will let us hack it. And here's our uh, hacking mini game. So uh, because this is on an Apple II, um, and because I don't know 6502 assembly language, um, it's not 100% like the game. Uh, you can't use the arrow keys to select uh, the word you want to use, so you just have to type it in. So yeah, that's basically all there is to it. So uh, you can either you just type the type one of the words that you see, like we're just try the first word, which is James, and uh, you can see that it 
um, clears the word out in the uh, in the list, and it says entry denied, one of the five letters correct. So uh, let's try another word. Um, let's try jerky. And that was zero of five correct. And uh, again, you can look at the top and see our uh, tense left. It keeps decreasing like it's supposed to. Uh, just for kicks, we'll try apple. And zero five correct. And we have one attempt left. So uh, I'm going to intentionally choose um, the wrong word just to uh, show you how it works. So I'm going to go type fuzzy. And it locks it out and it says terminal lock. And that's basically the end of that program right there. You have to restart the program. So I went ahead and uh, restarted the terminal and we're back at the uh, hacking mini game here. So um, there's a few words here. Um, So I'm going to go ahead and uh, guess the correct word, which is uh, the word is the password is lower. And when I hit enter, it will uh, let us in. And then it takes us back to the login screen. So um, normally the game would uh, type in for you log on administrator, but I have again I personalized it, so I'm going to type in log on uh, the wheelman. 282 and then I have to enter in the password and we just hacked it so we know the password is lower and then it brings us into the uh, user interface okay so we have four options here we can either activate our turret control system unlock our weapons cache and we can establish uh, a link to uh, two parts or two areas in the wasteland so uh, if I just select option number one, it just switches that option back and forth between activate and deactivate the turrets. So that's activated now, and I can also deactivate it doing the same thing. And then with uh, the weapons cache, I can either unlock it by choosing option two, or I can lock it again. So again, imagine this is a... Uh, like a personal terminal you would find in your house you could either you know you could unlock your weapons cache you could activate your turret control system things like that uh the next two options these are kind of this kind of like my personalization um if you remember from fallout 3 sat comma ray nw05a um was a very interesting location uh basically you could call down hell from the sky and blow things up with that, uh, with that set comma rate. So we're going to go ahead and link up to that. Choose option three. So we have a world map here. Um, S on the map is the set comma ray. That's, that's what we're linked up to. And X, the X is over there on the other side uh, of the world are our target. So we have a status update on our uh, high water trousers orbital platform. If you don't know anything about this, you can go on uh, the Fallout 3 wiki and, and look at this up. It's, it's pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, we have a fault in our rotary alignment system. It, we can't change our target. We have uh, eight salvos locked in a fire position and our fire control systems are green. There's our targeting coordinates, and it's asking us if we want our terminal to begin a handshake with the orbital platform. So we're going to say yes. Type yes. Handshake is complete, and our orbital platform is online. So it's asking us, do we want to transfer our targeting coordinates to the orbital platform? We'll say yes. And satellite is ready to commit. Do we want to commence fire on the target? So we're going to say yes again, and it's going to launch the salvos, and it's going to disconnect us from SATCOM array NW058, and it brings us back to our user interface. Uh, next, we can establish a link to uh, Archimedes 2, which was uh, in Fallout New Vegas. So we select option four.
Uh, if you don't know about Archimedes II, um, look it up on the wiki for uh, New Vegas. Um, basically, it's a, um, an orbital laser that you can call down and uh, blow things up with it. So, pretty cool. So, um, with uh, Archimedes II, uh, we have to transfer power from Helios 1 to the satellite. So, our power transition is offline. Uh, the target computer is online. The emitter alignment system is online. And it's asking us if we want to direct transmission from Helios 1 to Archimedes 2. So we're going to say yes. And our power transmission is online. Helios 1 mainframe is online. And Archimedes 2 is green. So do we want to activate the orbital platform? Yes. And then it's asking us if we want to accept communications from the rangefinder, which in the game that would be uh, Euclid's C finder. So we're going to say yes, we want to accept communications. And the rangefinder is online and it's just waiting for telemetry data from the rangefinder so it can um, fire down a laser from space. And then it brings us back to our user interface. Uh, so basically, that's all there is to it, guys. Um, again, this is just kind of something fun I did. Just really just to see if I could do it and so I could learn Applesoft Basic on the Apple II. So um, I want to show you one more thing uh, with the beginning of the program. So here we are at the beginning of the program. Uh, this is you know where you normally type in the commands to to actually hack the terminal, but uh, you don't actually have to do that. You know this with this being a, a personal terminal you'd find in your Fallout house, you can actually just uh, log directly in. So. Um, pretend we didn't do all that hacking and you just um, just uh, log in pretty much so you can say log on uh, the wheelman 282 it's going to ask for my password which is lower because we uh, remember we hacked that before and it takes us directly into the user interface and we didn't have to hack it so yeah I've, I've tried my best to make it work um, just like a terminal in Fallout, not exactly perfect, but it's pretty close with um, what I can do in AppleSoft. If I knew 6502 assembly language, I could probably make it better, but that's a whole nother beast, and I really just don't feel like messing with that. So, uh, yeah, there it is, guys. I uh, hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, you know, leave a comment. I'll see you guys later.